What's up, Collective? Welcome back to my channel, Pink Scorpion. Oh, Karmic Circus. That's my old channel, Pink Scorpion Intuitive Readings. If you want to go over there and check out some of them readings over there, there uh, is there. You just want to run on over there and see that channel. I'm not really active on that channel, but I do have some videos over there. You can go check out. That is Pink Scorpion Intuitive Readings right here on YouTube. Now, Collective, um, this is the Karmic Circus where I expose all of the karmic -y ass clowns. Clowns. Now, Collective, now, this reading may or may not resonate with your energy. Only take the parts that resonate with you and leave the rest. If it don't fit, don't force it. Just relax and let that shit go. All right? If I say he, it could be a she in your case. This could be a family member, this could be a friend, this could be an ex-lover, this can be a spouse. This could be a co-worker, a supervisor, um, a neighbor, somebody that's in your energy, someone who you recently broke up with, or someone coming towards you. Okay, but there's somebody that said to somebody, see, we're not on the same page, Collective. Somebody told you that. That you ain't on the same page as them. But in reality, they not on the same page as you. See, this person said that when you're not on the same page as them, that means you're not doing what I want you to do. See, it's, we're, we're not clicking because I want you to do this this way, but you want to do it your way, where I want you to do it my way. We ain't on the same page. I didn't sign up for this. You ain't doing what I want you to do. Okay, this person thought they was going to have you in some sort of Venus flytrap. Mm -hmm. But you've healed. You healed from somebody, you know, trying to put you, get you caught up in some shit. Mm -hmm. You ain't on the same page because you ain't doing what the fuck they want you to do. Whenever you complain to them, they didn't sign up for this shit because they thought it was going to be a free ride. And had you walking around like you got to wear a mask because you ain't on the same motherfucking page as them. So you got to walk around and be who the fuck you ain't. And they can be the, the low down, dirty scoundrel who they is, who they want to be. And they basically, in other words, they want you to accept that they're a bitch. They want you to accept that they have fuckboy energy. Okay? So, we're going to see... What is it that this person is saying that you're not on the same page with really what they want you to do that you ain't doing? What is it the collective doing, Holy Spirit, that this person is saying that they're, the collective is not on the same page because they're not doing what they want or doing what the way they want them to do something? Show me the energy. Here's some creative. Mm-hmm. You have, you have the power to create. You have the power to use your intuition. You know your strength. You know your power. They don't. They don't want you to know yours either. Okay? They want to control you. They want to have you as their puppet on their string. They want you to be just like them. They didn't sign up for this. What is the other thing they said? Um... We're not on the same page. See, when when you're you're not on the same page because see, they want you to dress like them, act like them, walk like them, to say that they're doing something. They're controlling. This is a narcissistic energy. Okay? And see, this person, they knows that you are gifted. They know that you are chosen, baby. So they want to control that intuition of yours. They want to control that gift of yours. Just in case you become famous or well-known, they trying to stop that shit. And if you do become famous or well-known, they want to be in control of that shit. Mm -hmm. I see somebody out here searching for a higher source. This person is trying to control you because they don't want you to see that they ass is selling their ass for pay. For pay. Gay for pay. They either selling their ass. If they've been keeping you hanging, it's because this motherfucker is out here doing some shit. Selling that ass or selling that dick. 
And this is why they keep you hanging on. On the string. But Spirit is saying no matter how this person keep you hanging on. You still need to heal. Because this person keeping you hanging. You're not healing. Okay. Where you're really loving. Trustworthy. Loyal. And you're filled with grace and beauty. And this person is keeping you hanging. Which is not allowing you to float over situations. Because you're too worried about what the fuck they doing. Some of you this is your baby daddy or your baby mama. Okay. Some of you may not be on the same page with this person because maybe you wanted a child with them and they didn't want a child with you. Don't mean to say it, but some of you, that's that's why you're not on the same page. Somebody did and may not want a child with you. Or maybe you didn't want a child with them, but you don't believe in abortion and terminations. And you're not on the same page with this person because some of them are gay for pay. Somebody wanted you to feel, you know, defenseless around them. Or they're feeling defenseless around you. And they have a fear of rejection. Or they wanted you to feel this. Okay? See, this person can be telling you they're not on the same page. You may be the type of person who likes to communicate with your person. You may be texting them a lot or trying to send a message to them. Um, maybe they don't like that. So if that's the energy or if, if, if somebody is saying they telling you or they make little comments like they're telling you in a slick way that you calling too much or you texting too much, cut it off. Cold fucking turkey. Now see what you got to do. You got to make a motherfucker miss you. If you used to call it, they're used to you calling them every day and they talking shit, stop it. Don't call no more. Don't call. Every time you feel like picking up that phone to call him, go go paint your nails or something. Paint your toenails. Go, go, fellas, you go and, and get a shave or something. Go drive around the corner. Don't drive around their corner. Okay, confirmation, because if you're not on the same page with this person, you're wasting your time and you're wasting your time. And it's, it's kind of pissing me off because you have a, a, a extra sensory. You double know how to use your intuition. So you goddamn know that what this person is doing, if they're not, if they saying they ain't on the same page with you, let they ass go. We're not on the same page. That means what you're saying to them is like you're writing in English and they're reading in, in, in Spanish. You ain't on the same page. You ain't understanding them and they ain't understanding you. So why keep taking yourself through something that you don't fucking understand? Or they not trying to understand you. So why keep wasting your time to try to make them understand you? Fuck them. It, it, I, it, what was you doing before you met him? You was fine before you met him, right? So you'll be fine after you leave their ass. All right? Time for you to use your, your, your crown chakra. Your third eye. Protect your shit when you're going to sleep. Tie your head up at night. See how she got that crown on? See them little things coming out of that, that whatever she got in her hand? Those are little spiritual beings. And they're telling you that if you have any crystals around, it's time to charge them. It's time for you to protect your energy because you have somebody around you that's trying to sabotage you. Okay? And this person may be trying to send a message to you. And this could be a baby mama or a baby daddy that's trying to keep you from floating over the situation that they're putting you in. But you got extra sensory. Okay? You know how to use your third eye. You could be a, a excuse me. You could be a songwriter. You could be a singer. You could uh, excuse me. I just ate some bomb ass tacos. Um, 
you could you could you know be an artist painter artist a sketcher you could be a model a sculptor a dancer singer you have something special about you and this person was sent to you okay those are the chosen ones you often we often get involved with people who we're not supposed to be with and see the devil send them people the majority of the time they didn't came to you right you didn't go to them they came to you and this is why you're watching tarot because they got you here you're trying to figure out what the fuck is going on with them believe me i know this is why i'm reading cards now because i was too you know, naive and not understanding shit that was going on. I didn't have clarity in the situation in my relationship. Once I got the clarity, got me uh, an amethyst and a black obsidian and a crystal quartz. I started seeing things. I started understanding things. I started getting more clarity. I started paying attention to the red flags and all that shit. That's what you need to do. All right? So I'm going to stop this reading right here. If it helped you in any sort of way, don't forget to subscribe to my channel.